For those looking to buy or sell Madden Ultimate Team coins, check out the Mutt Store. They have cheap prices, fast delivery, and great customer service. Use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's going on, It's your boy Texas, and if I sound a bit echoey, my apologies. I'm recording inside my closet. Now, before you guys say, Texas, why is your studio now in a closet? So I went ahead and put all the stuff in here because, like I said, I'll be going on a trip to Colorado Springs as this video is probably going to be going live. And I did not want my stuff to get, you know, peeped at, looked at while I'm gone. So I put all my stuff in a closet. But bury this bad boy. So if you guys know where I live, I mean, you can rob me. But don't, don't do that, please. Because, like, I don't I don't need to be buying new equipment. Like, I don't have anything I don't have anything over here, like serial number. I don't have anything down. So just, just leave my stuff alone, please. I'd appreciate you guys very much. If you guys did not, you know, burglarize me while I'm out in Colorado. So I'm hiding my stuff right now. So if I sound a bit echoey, that's the reason why. Now, a subscriber who I'm trying to get his name right now, give me one second so I can figure out what this dude's name is. Soul Dragon SG, and this guy wants to see a video on the best offensive and defensive chemistries to have, and good elite players with those chemistries. Now, we'll definitely do the best offensive and defensive chemistries over here, especially for my mutt noobs. Now, the good elite players, we're gonna save them. I'm gonna be doing a budget series pretty soon, and a lot of those elite players will make the list, so I'm not gonna mention them right now, because I personally believe if you're gonna get these players, you might as well use chemistry, because EA is kind of doing a thing where if we're not using the chemistry, you're kind of not using that player to his full potential, and you might as well activate the chemistry. Now, some may believe that it doesn't actually work, but if it does work, you might as well want to activate the chemistry. It's kind of like last year because around this time, we got some high overall cards, and this year they're slow rolling it, but if you activate the chemistry, it's pretty much the same as it was last year around this time. But anyway, let's go ahead and discuss the offensive and defensive chemistry's best run over here in this game. And now we're going to separate this bad boy. I'm going to be a bit of a viewer right now. We're going to separate this into two separate videos. And in this video, we'll be focusing on the offensive scheme chemistry. So in the game, first rolled out, ton of chemistries over here in this game, but the more prevalent ones were going to be, obviously, the four on offense, which were West Coast, vertical, zone run, and power run. So the question is, which of these chemistries is the best to run? Now, the cool thing about this is you can run two chemistries on offense, whether that be vertical power run, vertical zone run, or West Coast power run, or West Coast zone run. You can pretty much run two chemistries at the same damn time. You just got to go out and buy a coach or a uniform in order to get it active. But let's go ahead and find out. In my opinion, what is the best one to run? So zone run, for those that don't know, when it's tier two, you get a plus three to run block, plus three to a looseness, and a plus three to juke move. Power run, you guys do it pretty well. Plus three to run block, plus three to trekking, and plus three to stiff arm. West Coast, you get a plus three pass block, plus three to agility, and a plus three to catching traffic. And the last and final chemistry being vertical, you get a plus three to pass block, plus three to acceleration, and a plus three to spectacular catch. Now, personally, the two chems I use over here are vertical and power run, and I think those are the best chems. For one, when the game first came out, they kind of forced it upon your hand to use those two chemistries. Just because if you guys knocked out a lot of those team hero sets, they gave you a lot of vertical based players, a lot of power run based players as well. The West Coast and Zone Run were kind of lacking in players and to get the chemistry active. You had to go out and spend a bunch of coins on a gold coach. And at the time, there were no uniforms in the game. So you had to have a lineup full of it, which was impossible because at the time, I think there was uh, no quarterback. So you had to have seven people active. And I don't think you could have got it active unless you went out and use players that weren't necessarily good. So that's why I use those two chemistries. But we can go ahead and just look at why I think this is the best, other than the fact that obviously they kind of wanted you to use vertical style chemistry. But based off the attribute boost that you get regarding that, you get a plus three to excel, which makes guys very faster than they already are. And some of these guys who have like an 87 excel, 88 excel goes to the 90 club, makes them much faster, and guys with 93, 94 goes up to a 97. That is a much more significant boost than a catching traffic boost, and as well as an agility boost. Agility is gonna make you hard to tackle, but you know what else makes you hard to tackle? Not being able to be caught, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I prefer the acceleration boost compared to what West Coast gives, and as well as the receiving core. Now, I don't have the best receiving core when it comes to West Coast offense because obviously they didn't really give me anybody. So as you guys see my binder, they have the Michael Floyd, 
they had the Jermaine Curse. You had the 85 Dez. You got a lot of these guys that give it vertical style chemistries that are really good receivers. And then you got the West Coast. And you pretty much got to go to the auction block to buy some players. Like, I got Tyler Lockett. And I got the, the Antonio Brown that came out a while ago. But there's not many good players with this particular Kim. And with the halfback, Tevin Coleman, being there, you don't have a spot there for your power run halfback, which would be either David Johnson or your zone running back, which would be a Charles Sims. So the West Coast is kind of lacking right now. And obviously, you guys have seen the same quarterback here in Carson Wentz, ultimate universal quarterback right now. So if you guys need one that can match up all the Kims together, this is the guy to go out and pick up. But West Coast, I just do not like the chemistries it provides. And I really don't know how important catching traffic is. You guys may know down in the comment section below, let me know, because I don't really see any value in that. I see a lot of guys in this game drop passes that they should not drop and a lot of guys catch pass that should not catch so i have no idea how valuable that trait is but the spec catch is just ridiculous i know you guys have been going against randy moss going up against jerry rice and seeing them make some ridiculous catches and that spec catch rating right there i see guys with low catch rating and also high spec catch rating make just dumb catches so i think that's more important than the catch and traffic this guy provides and agility. Some of you guys may prefer that, but I prefer the acceleration boost. Now, moving on to the offensive line, which is gonna be the power run slash zone run scheme. We're gonna go ahead and look at the zone run first. And I would like to use this scheme, but they killed juking completely this year. And that's one of my reasons why I use power run cam as opposed to the zone run. Last year, the double jukes were kind of filthy. On the screen right now, you guys should be seeing some of the moves I was making with the gold Jerry McKinnon. If you guys wanna check out that, montage link in the description below but they just completely neutered juking this year it doesn't seem possible now maybe i'm just not that good maybe somebody down in the comment section is like yo tex i'm i'm good at juking i can do this all day I'm, I'm the greatest at it i just can't get it to to work for me so that's why i do not mess with it and that's why i much rather run through enemies or run through opponents as opposed to trying to juke by them because it seems like it always results in a loss or just a just a tackle right there now the looseness is what is amazing with this chemistry though because looseness is also very important this year so people value trucking because you break tackles and they think that's the end all be all but looseness is kind of cool as well because it seems like a lot of these loose backs are just kind of hard to bring down i played against the devonta freeman who is not like a back that you would think as really hard to bring down because he's kind of tiny but he plays really well now here he is with his looseness at 91 and i think anybody above nine looseness low trucking is really hard to bring down so i do value that attribute but the plus three to juking i just find useless and i don't think you should use it but the plus three run block is pretty huge as well it sometimes gets you lined up to that threshold where they'll be better at run blocking but a lot of people in this game believe that it's better to have pass blocking offensive linemen with low run block because it seems like you can pretty much move guys out of the way no matter who your offensive line is and that is a gameplay mechanic that you really can't worry about just go ahead and build a team around the chemistry that you so desire if you guys like to juke this is gonna be the lineup but if you're like me and like to run through people power run is why is what i use this is what i use all the time this is my solo challenge team essentially and i do like the plus three trucking that this gives i don't use the step form as much because it seems like i always end up getting tackled so i just run through guys hit that left trigger hit that up stick on it and you're just going through guys now like i said a little bit earlier i'm a little bit biased just because ea did not do a good job of balancing the players we got this year with these particular chemistry like if they would have gave us west coast and zone run to start a year off with i would probably be using those chems a lot more than i'm using currently but again the Ju king's dead and the catching traffic i don't find it's valuable so if you guys are going to be building a team around these scheme players i would definitely choose the ones that you can see definite playmaking ability with and the trucking is noticeable in the field the spec catch is noticeable in the field and since juking is dead this year unfortunately r.i.p r.i.p to the juking it, it's not good no more and then the catch in traffic is just random uh, i would not worry about those two kids plus the players you get really aren't the greatest like with the power run kim there are a ton of good elite players you pick off the auction block and same thing with the vertical style kim you got a 90 or 91 julio jones with these kim boosted and West Coast is not really anybody too impressive that you can get on top of your head. I mean, Tyler, I mean, Tyler Lockett's pretty cool, but he's just a fast receiver. He's not going to be that guy that can do it all for you like a Julio or like a Des Bryant that can, can do. So those are my opinions on the best offensive schemes over here in this game. Offensive scheme chemistry over here in this game. 
Check back later on for the defensive chemistries over here. If you guys want more of this video, thumbs up it, and I will definitely crank more out for you guys. Down in the comment section below, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on your favorite chemistries to run over here and why, or if I'm wrong, let me know where I'm wrong at. Maybe, maybe one of you guys can teach me how to juke. Maybe you guys can help me better my game and juke people out their shoes, and maybe I'll start running zone run. But as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and keep running my offense, which is gonna be, obviously, power run and vert, and 4-3 on defense, which is also kind of biased because at the end of the year, they gave you a lot of good 4-3 players and no 3-4 players, but hey, who knows, my opinion may not be what my opinion is currently. What am I talking about? I'm gonna go ahead and end the video on that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video down in the comments section. Let me know what you guys' thoughts and opinions on this. I'm the Texas boy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.